Hello, my name is Dan Grant, Haldex Tech Service Rep from Haldex Corporation. For this presentation, we're going to discuss the methods and practices of a Saba automatic brake adjuster. All truck and trailer combinations must maintain the CVSA stroke guidelines. And what that really means is you measure the stroke at 90 to 100 PSI, and in this case, if it's a type 30 inch air chamber, the maximum stroke can be is two inches. Or you'll see, uh, and that's what they call the standard clamp type bracket. If it's a long stroke type air chamber, or brake chamber, it would be a 30 LS, and that stroke goes to two and a half inches. First, you need to identify the difference between a long stroke and a standard stroke. As the picture shows, the long stroke is determined by square ports, and the standard stroke is uh, defined by round ports. A standard service chamber, which you would see on some dollies and steer axles, the stroke measurements, how you measure stroke. And in this picture, with the brakes fully released, as shown in for dimension A, is some value. And then, in vet, and when you put 90 to 100 psi, you measure how far it goes out, and you subtract a from C, and that's your stroke dimension at 90 to 100 PSI. Here we're showing that an example of that. For instance, with the brakes release, this brake adjuster is sitting at five and three quarter inches, and when I put 90 to 100 PSI on a 30 inch long stroke actuator, it goes to eight inches. So the difference between eight or five and three quarters and eight inches is two and a quarter. So that falls within the CVSA guidelines of less than two and a half inches. This CVSA stroke measurement is, is used to determine the condition of the foundation brake on a trailer or a tractor and not used to determine whether the brake adjuster is working correctly or not. ABA inspection. So if you want to see if your ABA is working correctly or not, what you do is you uh, put a, a wrench, a torque wrench, on the 7 16 and uh, adjustment hex and back it off counterclockwise, and you must have at least 13 foot-pounds. So here you leave a wrench on the adjuster and you apply the brakes and release and you'll notice on each uh, release stroke the wrench will move approximately a sixteenth of an inch in the clockwise direction and that shows that it is taken up the clearance. Final, finally, what you need to do is make sure that the adjuster is greased properly. Uh, and what you do is there's a zerk fitting, and you don't want to use any molly disulfite grease because it is too slippery in the adjuster. And what we show here is you stop when the grease comes out of the adjustment hex on the back side. For more information, please contact haldex.com.